Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can customize your Windows 7 login screen. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is this, what you see when you log on. So, now, first we are going to change some registry files, which is a piece of cake. It is easy as pie, and trust me when I say it won't stuff up your computer. So don't be scared. Novices will find this syndicated. So will amateurs. They'll find this syndicated super easy. Don't be afraid. Be confident. If novices can do it and you're not a novice, well, then you can, I'm pretty sure, do it. So first, click Windows and in the search bar, type in Reg Edit. R E G E D I T. R E G E D I T. No spaces, no capitals. Hit enter. Now you can't see it on my computer because the video software doesn't show it for some reason on yours you it will probably ask do you want uh, to allow the following program to make changes to this computer click yes then registry editor will come up um you will see these five folders here if you see more that is okay if you don't see them it's probably because your down arrow isn't selected select it and then you can see them so edge key local machine is where we're gonna start so click down arrow for edge key local machine and then these will come up then click the down arrow for software the down arrow for Microsoft down arrow for Windows which is above Windows Defender then the down arrow for current version, the down arrow for authentication, and logon UI. Then you'll see background, boot animation, logon sound played, and session data. Click on background, and you will see in here two files. If you only see one, that's okay. You will probably only be seeing this one, the AB default, REG underscore SZ, data value not set that is okay just make sure that this is selected and if that's the only one you see I will fix that for you if you see both well that's great sorry for now so if you only see the default one that is that click on edit then go to new word 32 bit value and it will create one name it OEM background okay and make sure it is exactly the same. So capital O E M B background. So O E M background. Once that's done, then you'll see two pictures. Double click on O E M background. You'll see the name there. The value data should be zero. Change that to one and make sure it's a hexadecimal base. Okay. And don't be freaked out by all this techie stuff. It won't do it won't stuff up anything it's fine so once you've done that and you close that up we are going to create a folder which will store the picture that you want so go to your computer and then primary oh uh, sorry local disk which should be C and then Windows scroll down and find system 32 double click on that scroll down and find OO which is double OBE which is there double click on that and you'll see all this stuff don't touch it please if you don't want to stuff up your computer now we are going to create a new folder so, so click new folder here it will it will come up with unique to confirm this operation click continue it may even ask for your password in which case you type in your password and then you click yes and then you create a new folder called info and it should be under en-us once you've got info there double click on it and we'll create a new folder inside info and again click continue type in your password if you need then click yes call this one backgrounds double click on that and this is where you are going to put your picture in picture that you want um a note here the picture must be dot gpg 
um, .jpg, which is short for JPEG. So I'm going to use Sunset as my example. To make sure that it is a JPEG, just click on it, right click Properties, and it says Type of File JPEG Image .jpg. Now, if it isn't a JPEG, look up other, um, just Google search how to convert a picture to a JPG. Once it's a JPEG, yeah, just look up to convert it to a .jpg or a JPEG. Once it's JPEG, we want to drag it in here. Okay, now don't do anything. I'm just going to quickly pause the video and I'll be back in a second. Right, so I'm back. Um, so you've just dragged your picture in there. We want to rename it to background default. So background and I'll click capital D you write default next to background so you have background default again continue type in your password if needed and click yes so there you've got background default that is your picture and that's pretty much it now you have um, customized your Windows 7 logon screen you can check it if it works it works if it doesn't message me and I'll try to figure out your problem. So thank you very much for watching. Tell your friends about this. Get them into changing their Windows 7 logon screen and watching my video. Um, yep, thanks for watching today. Watch some of my other videos. They're on a range of different topics. Thanks again and yep, goodbye.